In this video, I'm going to show you the best Facebook ads for increasing restaurant sales in 2024. We'll start by covering the three best types of Facebook ads for restaurants. The first will be the best Facebook ad for getting new customers. The second will be the best Facebook ad for increasing how often existing customers order. Then the third, the best Facebook ad for increasing how many people visit your website and actually become customers. There is an ad for that. Then as a bonus, I'll show you the best Facebook ad I've seen for driving catering orders with an example of a restaurant using it to make over $5,000 per month in extra catering orders. So let's dive into it. We'll start with the number one best way to increase online orders with Facebook ads, retargeting website visitors that didn't convert with a compelling offer. My friend Chris, the owner of Brooklyn Pizza, is a perfect example of this. He used this to drive over 70 new orders and over $3,000 in sales in just 30 days for less than $500 in ad spend. The first thing he did was set up the targeting. He retargeted people who visited his website but didn't actually place an order with this Facebook ad. Part of the magic of this ad is the fact that he only served it to retargeting audiences. The other key part of this ad is the way the team at Brooklyn Pizza actually wrote the ad text itself. As you can see, in just a few sentences, they reminded people of what makes Brooklyn Pizza different and better. They say things like, Brooklyn Pizza is committed to fresh ingredients and great tasting Brooklyn style cooking. And then they call out their top dishes, like home of the famous Sorrento Pizza Nods, as well as their online ordering system, saying how easy it is and rewarding it is to order from their website directly. As they're creative, meaning the part of the ad which isn't the text, they use a gallery of photos showing off the most popular dishes on their menu so that people can eat with their eyes and start craving items on their menu. One other thing to call out is how key it is to use emojis to break up every sentence in Facebook ads because this makes it easy for people to skim and read through them. You may be wondering, Adam, why not just run this ad to a bigger audience? The short answer is that you can get over $6 for every $1 you spend in this type of ad, just like Chris did, if you keep the audience small and just retarget. Here's why. On restaurant websites, the average conversion rate from website visitor into new customer averages just 3%. That means that 97% of all people visiting a restaurant website won't actually become customers, at least not on that first visit. So what's so valuable about being able to serve those ads to people is that they were recently interested enough in that restaurant to actually visit our website and scroll around. They already know the restaurant and are interested in it. As for why they didn't become customers if they're interested, it's often not because they don't want to order from us. It's because they just got distracted or their friend insisted on another place or they decided to make dinner that night themselves. So how do you set up a retargeting campaign? I'll quickly break down the steps for you to make it super easy. First, you add a Facebook pixel to your website and online ordering system. Chris uses owner.com for his website, which has this automatically built in. This gives the Facebook tracking system all of the information about who visits the website so that you can target them on Facebook based on what they do on your website. The second step is to set up an ad in the Facebook ad manager. There were a few things to make sure are set in the campaign targeting itself. In the targeting step of building the ad, make sure that it's just people that have visited your website in the past 14 days to make sure that your restaurant is still top of mind for them. Typically, that's going to be an audience of about 500 people. We then filter it a bit more by saying that we should only be targeting people that spent over 60 seconds on our website and are in our city and haven't yet converted into a customer. These are all key because we wanna make sure that we're only targeting people who are actually interested in our restaurant. What I've seen work best is making the conversion goal a direct online order placed through your website. This is what Chris does, and it works best because it's easy to track the return we're getting on the ad spend down to the dollar within owner.com. Now that we've covered increasing the conversion rate of those website visitors, let's talk about what the best way is to actually get more website visitors and more new customers. But before we get there, if you're liking this video so far and you want more content to help you grow your restaurant, then click that subscribe button down below. Every month, I post a few new videos where I share some of the things I've learned from helping thousands of restaurants grow. Being subscribed means that you'll never miss out on those videos. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. The best strategy for getting new customers. Number two is using Facebook lookalikes to acquire more new customers. A great story of a restaurant that used this strategy is my friend Omar, the owner of Talkin' Tacos in Miramar, Florida. Their team is amazing at using Facebook and Instagram ads. He uses the lookalike feature to get more customers through Facebook ads. Here's how it works. Talkin' Tacos' best converting offer for new customer campaigns is a free delivery offer 
meaning that they write an ad that says, attention Miami taco lovers. If you're craving some juicy, tender birria tacos, their most popular menu item, we've got you covered. We're offering free delivery this week to celebrate our new Brickle location. Order now on our app and use code TACOLOVE to get that item. With a gallery view of their most popular menu items in addition to the birria taco, similar to what we saw Chris from Brooklyn Pizza do. Lookalike audience is a feature that's built into Facebook that lets you target people who look like existing customers. Meaning that Omar and his team at Talk and Tacos uploaded their list from their website and their online ordering system and their POS, and then they told Facebook, hey Facebook, find people who are more like our customers and show them our ads. This drives bananas results because Facebook often notices things that we don't even know about our own top customers. For example, Talking Tacos in Miami is a hip concept that really appeals to young people. Their customers are typically millennials or Gen Z. So when we uploaded our customer list, Facebook found all of the top customers on Facebook and then figured out what they all had in common. Like maybe Facebook finds that our top customers tend to love the artist David Guetta and also tend to be between the ages of 26 and 30 specifically. Facebook then uses all of the things that it notices about our customers to find more people nearby that are exactly like them. And the results? A cost per new customer of under $10 on Facebook in Talk and Tacos' case. It's a huge part of how they get over 100 new customers per month from social media. So the way this works is we go into Facebook ads, we select lookalike audiences as the targeting setting, and then we start by uploading a list of our top customers for it to look alike against. Usually the POS or online ordering system offers us an export as a CSV to upload. And then using that list, Facebook will scan those profiles, see what they all have in common, and then serve ads to a group of people that look like them. So now that we've talked about how you can get more new customers and increase the amount of them that place online orders, let's finish off by covering number three, using custom audiences to increase spend of existing customers. Have you ever ordered all the time from a restaurant and then kind of just forgotten about it? You still know it exists, but for whatever reason, you fell out of the habit of going there. Well, it turns out almost everyone has had this experience with even great restaurants that they love. People love the food, but there's just so many different options out there that they kind of just forget and stop ordering. That's where this next strategy comes in and becomes so powerful. A great example of it comes from my friend Antoinette, the owner of Otavio's Italian restaurant. Her Italian restaurant is based in a small town called Lakeside, California. But even in a small town, she feels it's important to constantly communicate with her customers to make sure that she and Otavio's, her restaurant, stay top of mind. It's how she gets 200 extra orders from her customer base per month totaling over $8,000 in extra sales. And one of the ways she does it is with Facebook ads. This is how. Antoinette starts by uploading her customer list to Facebook. And then she sets up the targeting as a custom audience, meaning that Facebook will target just those people. Then in her ad itself, she follows a very similar strategy to what we saw with Chris from Brooklyn Pizza. She keeps it simple, reminding people of what is unique and better about Otavio's, which in her case is the fact that it's her family's recipes from Italy and how that restaurant is a lakeside staple, as well as calling out some of her top selling dishes to begin to intrigue people. Her ad reads, when you're craving authentic Italian food, Otavio's has got you covered. We've been serving the lakeside community since 1953. Our family's recipes were brought straight from Italy to give people their Italian favorites. Come see why our garlic bread is often called the best in California and why our spicy chicken angel hair pasta gets such rave reviews every time. Anyway, in addition to that ad style that Antoinette is using, I saw a restaurant called Clean Juice that uses a similar approach with custom audiences, but makes it even more simple. As you can see here, they have a creative which shows their tasty looking dragon fruit bowl and simple text which reads, kick off the fall with the dragon fruit bowl, new from Clean Juice. It's a great example because new menu items are a great way to drive additional orders from past customers. They intrigue them the most because they're already familiar with their menu and love new items. Reminding those people to order is so powerful for driving up their frequency and ensuring the restaurant stays top of mind. What's especially powerful about custom audiences is the fact that the average Facebook ad CPM is still under $15, meaning that they only charge you $15 per thousand times that your ad is seen by customers. Why this can be such great value as 
far as advertising goes and returns more than $10 for every dollar spent in the ad campaigns that I've seen. So if you're just showing ads to your top 200 customers with a custom audience approach, it means that you can remind them each to order like five times per month for $15 total. If you reminded each of your top 200 customers to order five times per month, do you think you'd be able to make more than $15 in sales to pay back the ad costs? Definitely. In fact, you'd probably make more than 10 times that. I typically see restaurants seeing a 5x to 10x return in ad spend on using this simple campaign. The best part is that there's another smart way to use it, which I first saw in action at a Mexican restaurant called Tokaya Organica. What they do, in addition to having ads which are designed to stay top of mind, is they have ads which are designed to turn their existing customers into huge catering orders. As you can see on screen, they target their past customers using Facebook custom audiences. And then they say, Tokaya catering is the secret ingredient to your summer party. One of the things that is so smart about this is that they're driving catering orders and offering great value to customers who want catering with that 15% off coupon. But they're coming out ahead on this because those catering orders would otherwise go through Easy Cater, which takes 30%. Plus, as we all know, catering orders are higher profit margin and easier for the kitchen to prepare, even on a slammed day, because they come in bulk. Anyway, that's all for this video on Facebook ads. But if you're looking for the best way to get new customers for a restaurant online, we actually didn't cover it in this video because it doesn't involve Facebook ads. I explained that in detail on my video titled SEO for restaurants and how multiple restaurants I know are using it to get over 100 new customers per month from Google without having to pay for ads. 